Welcome all to this tutorial. Today I will open up a chapter on configuring network interfaces and configuring networking in general in Linux Red Hat. So, in some previous tutorial I have showed you a simple command to see your IP address which was basically ifconfig and I told you that we would cover this in detail. Well, that is a partially true promise uh, don't worry, I won't disappoint you. I will teach you about networking in Linux. However, we will not be using ifconfig. If you just go ahead and type in man ifconfig. Uh, there we go. Uh, it says down below where, it, uh, where the note exists. This program is obsolete. Is obsolete. For replacement, check uh, ipaddr and iplink. For statistics, uh, use IP-S link. And believe it or not, most of the users today, they tend to use ifconfig uh, for their day-to-day -day work. And system admins, they do use IP, but most of the regular users will still use ifconfig, even though it has been labeled as obsolete, I don't know, since before 2000, in the 19, sometimes in the 1990s. But even I, when I'm not doing something important or when I, I still have a habit of using ifconfig, it just, it's just one of those commands that sticks with you. It's fairly simple and easy to use, so people do tend to use it. However, uh, it is obsolete, and today IP is used instead. Let's just go ahead and clear the screen. IP command is fairly simple. Okay, I admit there are a considerable amount of arguments that are passed along with it, but and it can accept a considerable amount of arguments. It's still not as complicated, but it is not as sim but it is definitely does not possess the simplicity of ifconfig. So let's go ahead and have a look at a few examples. If I type in IP, if I press tab twice, you can see that there are uh, quite a few options here. So if I type in ADDR show, I will get the IP addresses for my interfaces. And the interfaces in Linux are can be named in three fashions. Well, I would say four, but uh, three is something uh, something that is taken as a general standard. Uh, the fourth one, the logical naming, that's something completely different. That would be for VLANs, and that is not something that we are going to cover in the Red Hat Certified. That is not something that you're going to need in the Red Hat Certified System Administrator. Uh, not for the time being, anyway. What uh, what the naming processes are, well, the naming processes are basically BIOS naming. So, the manufacturer's ID of the network card, you can use that one. And that is how your network cards will be named. Uh, network cards are usually marked as NIC, so like this. If you see somewhere in the net where it says NIC, it means uh, network integrated card. Uh, network cards do not need do not need to necessarily be integrated onto your motherboard. They can also be USB uh, adapters. So you can buy these on the net. People usually buy them uh, for wireless. Also, there is a physical type of naming, which is the same as BIOS, and there is a standardized way of naming interfaces, which is basically just typing ETH, and then ETH, well, ETH0, ETH1, ETH2. I do believe that this is the default way of naming things on uh, Debian, but doesn't look like it's the default way of naming things in Red Hat. So Red Hat has its own way of naming interfaces, and this is not it. Anyway, aside from that, let's just go ahead and clear the screen. Uh, we will go ahead and have a list of IPs, as I have just done. ADDR show. Just wanted to make the screen a little bit neater. And here we have the loopback interface, which is the first one, so LO and we have the link loopback IP address. We're not really that interested in it. Those things are always the same. Uh, down below we have, uh, well, this is the loopback IP address actually here, 127.0.0.1, and this is always the same. <laughs> it doesn't matter really on which operating system on old Unix 
uh, Linux-like systems, it's 127.0.0.1. I do believe that it's exactly the same on Windows and definitely the same on Mac, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, down below, we have the interface that we are using. It's MP0S3. And here we see the INET, which is the internet address. Sorry, not the internet address, which is the interface address. It's 192.16, the IP address which has been assigned to this interface, let me put it so, that's that's the that's the proper term to say it. So we have, uh, it's 192.168.1.102, and this signifies sla uh, slash 24, this signifies to which subnet does it belong, to which network does it belong. Let me put it so, perhaps it is simpler. So, to which network does this belong? This is actually, uh, you can get a subnet mask from this and then you can figure out exactly to which network it belongs by calculating the range. But that is a, well, I wouldn't say complex math, it's doable, but that is not a portion of, but that is not included in this course as you will definitely not need it, as far as I know, for the Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam. Anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at some other things as well that we can do with IP. So if we type in IP link show, this will show me my interfaces. Uh, so we see that we have LO, it says loopback, and we have NP0S3. Okay, so it says broadcast, multicast, up, lower, up, and we have some other things which are uh, not that interesting to us at the moment. We will see what we can do with this later on and how we can utilize it, but you can also have a look at statistics as the man pages have said. It's IP-S link. And now we have some interesting things here. Basically you can see uh, the amount of errors, the packets dropped, etc. So that can be that can be quite useful. Let's see if we have anything else to cover in this introductory video. So we're still uh, doing an introduction to networking. Uh, we're not going to just jump into it. Uh, yes, we ha we also have routes. So that can that can be uh, quite quite that that is one of those. Well, this is a dumb way of saying of putting it, but it's one of those popular commands most used, I guess, in accordance with statistics. Not most used, but certainly up there somewhere. Route uh, if you route show. And you can see it says default via 192.168.11 and then it says dev for device and then we have the network interface name. There you go. Uh, it says... Let's go... Okay, basically so all the connections are... our connections are routed here and this is the default gateway. This is basically my home router towards which the connections are routed so they can go on to the internet. This can be changed of course, you can add different routes and have a lot of fun with it. So here it says SRC, which is the source IP address 192.168.1.102. This is the IP address of this particular computer. So the one that I am using, the one that has been assigned to the interface. You can go ahead and see that this is true by typing in IP ADDR show MP 0s3. So you see, you can also specify the name of a particular interface. Here, you do not have to uh, list everything for every single interface. So you can go ahead and clearly see that this is indeed the source IP address, that this is the interface that we are using at the moment. Keep in mind that all of these commands are. Uh, like any other in Unix Linux like systems, you can pipe them, you can uh, you can redirect, input, output, whatever. So if I type in grep inet, and I am going to go ahead and put this into quotes because I want to grep the space as well. And there you go. We can. I have the IP address and the and the sudden mask prefix there. But if I go ahead and do and do this, you see without the quotation marks, I will get both of them because I didn't envelop the space part. By space part I mean I'm referring to this part to this part here. You see there's a space and here it's six and then space. If I grep the space as well, it will only print this particular line out. 
Anyway, I hope that I have at least introduced you to networking in Linux to a fairly uh, good extent, but I didn't want to burden this particular introductory tutorial with too much info. I just want to explain to you the basics of IP command, what you can do with it. Basically, you can IP IP is not only used to show stats; it can also be used to adjust stats. Uh, like give an IP address, assign a route, or something of a kind. This we will do in the follow-up tutorials where I will explain these things in far more detail. But for the time being, uh, the primary one of the primary objectives is that you do not use ifconfig anymore. Uh, maybe some of you who are taking this tutorial are using ifconfig, and I mean, in all honesty, as I've said, even I. Uh, do use it till this day on today. I do use both. I do use both IP and IF config, uh, but it's a good idea, and I strongly advise you to switch to to switch into IP, as that is the current standard and that is the future standard as well for a good while now. Anyway, I bid you all farewell, and I wish you a ton of luck.